In today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can upload a file using simple file upload, and it only takes about four lines of code and about a minute to set up, so let's jump in. Letting users upload files is kind of a sticky business. In the past, I've had like a web server where users could upload files to it, but um, my app was on the same server, users upload too many files, and then it ran out of disk space and then the app went down, which wasn't great. Then I got a bit smarter and I started using Amazon S3, which I really love. I think it's a really good solution. But it's kind of a faff to set up. Like you need to create API keys, give them the right permissions, which is a bit tricky. And if your customer or the person you're building the app for isn't signed up to AWS, they might not like the extra like bill, like another bill coming in from another company. I recently discovered Simple File Upload and I really like it. We're going to go through it today, um, and the main reason I like it is I can just add it via Heroku right here. Cool. It's a mid order. There we go. It's all provisioned. Let's see what we have when we click into the app. So we start off with a way to customize the drop zone we'll be adding to our site, along with instructions on how to add it. And there's also a file storage tab where we can see what files have been uploaded. We're going to start by following the instructions just with how to add it in plain JavaScript, but there are instructions for Ruby and for React. So I'm going to quickly go into my app. I'm going to do part one, which is add the JavaScript snippet. Just there. And I'm just going to add it to my application layout uh, object, which is right there. Cool. So if I was to go to my app, quickly look at the source code, we can see we've added in the uh, JavaScript file. What I'm thinking is we're going to add a little field underneath here and to the show page where it just lets us drop an image in and then we can see it. So the next thing it's kind of asking us to do is add in a hidden field with the name like avatar URL. I'm going to add a field to our post called image URL. Uh, we're just going to add it underneath. So I'm going to quickly go bundle exec, Rails G migration. Also going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Add image URL to post. And we're going to do image URL string. And that should auto make the migration. There it does indeed. Let's have a look at it. Cool. All right, let's do um bundle exec rails db migrate just to add it to our database. Nice. Okay, so that's all in our schema now. So I'm going to quickly add the field in. I'm going to start by just leaving it as a text field for now. I'm going to put a little line break in here. And then on the show page, I'm going to output it as well. And lastly, we're also going to update the post controller to expect this new field. Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay, and if you want to go to show, there it is. That That's all good. We like that. So the next thing we need to do to create this, like turn this into a file upload, is just add the class simple file upload to it in the form, so there we go. That's really cool, I really like that. And if I was to quickly upload an image, there's an image of me, and I'm going to click update post, you can see it's just added a little thing in, which is quite cool. And if I was to quickly uh, Make this an image. Tag. There it is. So that's fantastic. So what's actually happening under the hood? So if I was to quickly drop in a picture, we can see it's directly uploading the file off to Simple File Upload. And then when we click Update Post, what it's actually doing 
is sending us the like file, the image file URL, which is super nice. And then if I was to go to file storage, I could see all the files I've uploaded for this video. So that's like kind of nice and simple. It means you only have to deal with strings. So I really like this solution. It took us like less than a minute to get set up. We can customize it a little bit. So if you want to maybe change all the colors that light, we can do that as well. And that'll be fine. Um, and that will get reflected if I was to maybe go click edit here. You can see it's all changed, which I think is quite a nice solution if you just need a file upload. Um, and also the creator has a really good podcast called the uh, the social software podcast you can kind of follow them building it and i really recommend it